often a user of excel has to deal with duplicates of data and to remove them and uh, remain with unique items we have seen a number of um, applications and options for removing duplicates or dealing with duplicates in this video we would want to see how to use a formula to identify duplicates but also later to remove them in one column and also see how duplicates can actually be identified across different columns so let us make use of a formula in excel called n before we go to the function n let's look at how we can use an expanding selection to identify numbers when they occur the first time and also identify them when they occur the second time so if we put equal signs and we use the count ifs function and then the criteria range is the entire list we fix both the rows and columns for the first part of our selection and for the second part we want to free the row number so row number three and when you look at this formula you see that we shall be running a selection from b3 to b3 however the second part of b3 is not locked is not fixed and the reason why we do that is that when we copy the formula downwards we want it to expand from b3 to b4 to b5 while the first part remains at b3 so this is our criteria range and our criteria is the b3 itself and close so you can see this formula that when you expand it down, it will be counting Cian Hanson 2 and then Abriel Lara is 2. So it means that Abriel Lara is already appearing above and also so is Cian Hanson. So it means that when Cian Hanson appears the first time, they have a 1. And when Cian Hanson applies the second time, they have a 2. Now this is where our n function comes in handy because if we say that count if function is equal to 1, where it is a one it will return a true and where it is not a one it will return a false so for example you see abriel rara and sienna hanson are returning false now we want to convert these trues and falses into zeros and ones and we that's where we make use of our n function we enclose it outside the count use function and then we close at the end and we click ok and this is what happens now when that happens is that we have identified that where an item appears the first time it has a one where it appears the second time it has a zero now if we say this is our identifier for the duplication then we come and filter and we filter after filtering then we come and identify all zeros and then we can delete them so once we delete these zeros we shall remain with a list of items that are only unique now let's look at this let's first undo back to our list and now we would want to see how this same formula can actually be used to identify duplicates not only in one column but also in multiple columns so how do we separate these two names to become first name and second name so here i will put first name and then the next will be last name and i will use our flash field artificial intelligence of excel here i will input fisher i enter then i input sienna before i complete sienna excel will be making suggestions for me and here i click enter and will fill the entire series the same with wilkinson enter then hanson and I click enter then i will have the fill i can now delete my original name since i have separated the name into first and last name so at this point i will come and still use the count use function i will use the first name i lock by pressing f4 key so b3 to b3 and then the criteria is b3 then i go and run another criteria range which is c3 to c3 and i lock the first c3 and then the criteria is uh, c3 and then i close and i equate it to one and then i enclose everything into the n function and i click enter so what this formula does is that it is trying to identify whether the first name and second names are jointly occurring the first time or the second time and as again we see that sienna aubrey and others are returning zeros meaning that they are occurring for a subsequent time other than one so if we call this our id identifier for the duplication we shall still do the filtering so we select how do we select we select by pressing ctrl shift right arrow ctrl shift down arrow and then we filter by ctrl shift l 
and then after that we come and save out all the zeros and then we can delete them and then remain with our unique items now note that when we identified duplicate items by using the conditional formatting the duplicate items were being highlighted irrespective of whether the item is appearing the first time or the second time or the third time meaning that when we delete the duplicate items identified using conditional formatting for the duplicate items we actually not remain with any trace of that item so for example when we say hanson is appearing the second time even this first hanson would have gone meaning that we shall not remain with any item called sienna hanson so this is a better way of moving duplicates given that it retains a single entry for the duplicated items but also identifies duplicate items across the different columns so this is how we can make use of the n and count ifs function to identify duplicates and then using the filter function to do away with the duplicates i hope you have enjoyed this lesson